Okay, so uh, I'll quickly show you uh, the, the use of dollar signs in Excel. Okay, uh, here I have some numbers here. So uh, from B2 to B8, right? Uh, from 12 to 18, increasing by one, and then from B2 to H2, uh, it uh, you know, uh, kind of decreasing by one. So. Uh, numbers changing both along the, the row and the column okay now let's say here in this particular cell I write equals to and then B2 right so here it is now as I drag this downwards the numbers will change as uh, we expect it to why because this is uh, this is B2 right and then as I drag this becomes B3 this becomes B4 and so on as I drag sideways okay there again you see numbers changing correct so B2 is now C2 right the D2 and so on so the columns change now more often than not we really need this because this is a great feature to have you don't really need to go and change um, you know the row number and the column number every time you drag uh, you know downwards or sideways so it's, it's a great feature to have but then sometimes we uh, may not or we do not need this change right because so for example here in b2 when i drag downwards i want b2 to remain b2 right? to keep showing 12 and not 2 to 13 and 14 and so on so what do i do then so what i have to do is i'll have to put a dollar sign for two Okay, which essentially means that I'm locking two. The row two is locked. Now, as I press enter and then I drag it downwards, you can see it remains 12. So this is B2, this is B2, this is B2, and so on. So the uh, the, the 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 row number two has been locked, right? So by putting that dollar sign over there. But then, of course, you know, if you now if you go and drag sideways, there's hardly any uh, change from what we have, uh, we, what we saw uh, previously. The numbers change because B2 is now C2, right? Because now this time the column is changing. Uh, so, what do I do if I don't want things to change as I drag sideways? In this case, what I do is I will go and put a dollar sign before B, saying that you know the this time lock the column number so now B is locked so as I drag I see that you know uh, it, it, it remains dollar B2 and I keep sh and, and the cells keep showing 12 so that's how you, uh, you lock uh, the row or the column what if you want to lock both so in that case you have to put a dollar sign before both and now if you want to drag downwards you want to drag you want to drag uh, sideways you want to drag so whatever you do you know you, you will just remain 12 so get in any cell and save 2 uh, it is b2 dollar b dollar 2 okay now you really don't have to type dollar when you uh, want to lock so once you write the formula so I write b2 press F4 once and the uh, both both the, the rows uh, both the row and the column gets locked uh, press it twice the row gets locked right thrice the column gets locked and the fourth time you're back to where you were so you can keep pressing F4 and settle for what you need 